Hello everybody, welcome to another important tutorial on how to configure DP security. With many features on OCC dashboard, you can also have one scenario in Solution Manager dedicated to DP security which basically displays the compliancy calculation. To begin with, we first have to create a new dashboard, name the title as we name here as non-compliant items slash SAP O. Then we will move on to select a renderer which is going to be SLR table renderer in our case. Also, we will use the time range of last 20 days with the resolution as days. After adding the time range, we have to add queries. For example, here we are naming our query SAP all slash A4H. Once we name our query, we move on to select the data provider as security configuration validation. Then we go into the report section of query settings and we select no use of critical authorization. Then we go into the systems and we select A4H as our systems. After that we have to go into the metric section and we have to select the profile. And at last we have to select compliance where we choose no. Remember we are choosing no as a compliance here because we want to show the non-compliant items here. We can always show the compliant items by selecting yes in compliance section which will show all compliant items. After we customize our content section, we have to go into the properties section and choose dynamic table as a renderer in the jump in column with SLA as last which basically will show us last non-compliant item recorded of the system. Similarly, we have to add another query naming SAP all slash S4H to see the non-compliant items in the system S4H. To do that, we have to select the same things in query settings as we did for A4H, but instead of A4H, we have to select S4H as systems in query settings. Again, after customization of content, we have to go into the property section and select as appropriate as we did for A4H. Once we finish adding up both our queries, we will go into the previous section and see our result. Remember the slash function in the query name allow you to show the system in column and the area in line. We can also export our data by going into the edit mode and clicking on the number of non-compliant items for the chosen systems. And then simply clicking on the icon next to the refresh button to download our data. So using this dashboard in Solution Manager, we can collect information of SAP all users in systems to know about all the number of non-compliant user and compliant users. So that's it everybody for this video. Thank you for listening and watching this video.